So obviously, we love the CBC. They've been great to us since the beginning. They've been a huge help in our journey from complete obscurity to moderate obscurity. But I think we all know they're more important than that. A well-funded public broadcaster can do important things that the profit-driven private sector can't. They can afford to do journalism and investigate the powers that be because they aren't owned by them. They're owned by the people of Canada. I think some of my favorite moments playing this band have been uh, in the summers where we go out to Gross Moines and play the Writers Fest out there. For the past three, four years, I think, uh, they've all been recorded by the CBC Mobile Unit, which is one of the units that's directly uh, affected by these cuts. And I think it, it, it serves an important role, you know? Because whether it's for homesick Newfoundlanders who get a piece of home with them, wherever they are, or if it's people that want to see what our community is doing, I think it's a good educational tool and it's great for the art scene at a national level to be recognized. One thing I think the CBC is really great at uh, these days is uh, maintaining connectivity, you know, uh, things like the CBC Music website, they're uh, very great for streaming, that type of thing, uh, exposing some bands that maybe you might not discover otherwise. Uh, but also, I'm really into podcasts, and uh, it's interesting, you know, I can be so far away, I can be an airplane over the mid-Atlantic somewhere, and listening to a Gian Gomeshi interview. There are a lot of amazing Canadian bands out there that would never see the light of day if it wasn't for the CBC. Their program, Canada Live, on CBC Radio 2, has been an outlet for many bands, big and small, to, uh, to have their whole set heard on national airwaves. CBC's awesome. CBC rules, that's it. Long live the Canadian music scene, long live independent music, long live the CBC.